Hey guys, welcome back to Rustic Waters. Last episode we did a little bit of the agriculture quest, which we'll do a little bit more of today, probably. Uh, quickly going over some comments that you guys left. Uh, James Stanzo said that, yeah, we actually got the dolly, because uh, I was asking how to move the, uh, you know, the storage ladder if it's so full. But yeah, we actually did get the dolly at some point during a quest, so we can just pick that up and move it around, so that's not a problem. I totally forgot we got, we got this one at some point, and it's also not, you know, difficult to make. And yes, I do have a crescent hammer. I also forgot about that somehow, even though we used the viaducts before when we got them to test them out. Totally forgot that we had that, but um, so we don't have to make it. And then also, uh, apparently, if we get our arboreal extractor, I think that was Jar of Slime who said that, if we place this guy down, uh, not only can it get sap, but apparently it also can get lava from ghost wood, uh, fuse wood, and dark wood. So I want to see... Oh, and you need a uh, fight to grow, don't you? Fight to... Are we out? Wait, what's that called? Grow. Oh, maybe we're actually out. Uh, fight to... Alright, we get that from our strainers, don't we? So let's go grab some real quick. I have some running again because... Um, oh, only one, one stack. Thank you. Because I need more dirt. I'm out of dirt. We need it for a lot of things now. So let's give you some, just to test this. Hmm... Maybe it doesn't work with this one, perhaps? Oh yeah, yeah, it has to face this way. It has to face this way, that was my bad. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it gives you lava. Not very quickly, of course, but this is probably enough. And I just want to double check if I just break you, hopefully you lose everything. This, this might be enough to just power the thing downstairs if we just have uh, even a couple of these guys, I guess. So let's just try this again with just a piece of lock. Put you down, and then let's just use one fighter grow for now. Now, see, now the light is different. So it has to be a naturally grown tree, but I mean, that's no issue. We can just grow one, right? So, huh, cool. Yeah, so that means if we go down here, and I set this up on this spot here, if we can, might have to dig out the wall here. All right, there we go. There's our little tree here. Had to increase the ceiling a little bit too. And then if we just place our guy back here. Oh, buddy, I guess you can't output from there, can you? Can we not have this from a different side? I really wish... I think that might work too, right? So if you configure this here. Yeah, input, output. So that's what that actually is. So we want input on this side, output on that side. And auto output enabled. It's currently not going in there, but maybe it needs to feel to do it. No, it put it out. Yeah, it did it. So I might just wait till it has like 100 meter buckets or something before it does it. Cool, so this guy will just get uh, fuel. Now the only issue is this guy is getting, oops, this guy is getting full, I think. Like, look at this. <laughs> uh, so maybe having this run the whole time isn't even the best. I'm gonna shut this off for now. So it will still like use up whatever it has, but uh, and then stop, right? So let's just transfer some of these ember shards over here, maybe. So many goodies, I like it. And I'm still, still kind of worried about touching this void stuff or have it in my inventory, so I'll leave it in there for now. But yeah, lots of ores, lots of ores. A little bit of dirt too. Oh, I actually need dirt. There's more dirt. Cool. Anyway, so that was that. Very cool. Thanks for the tip. That's gonna make this a lot easier. I was gonna pump lava, but. That might actually keep up. We'll have to have to check this out. Once it's, once it's empty, once the boss stops running because I turned it off, uh, I might... Uh, yeah, I might take the lava that's in the tank, store it, right? Empty all of them, and then see if it, if it can keep running by just having that wood down there. That would be really cool and efficient. I don't know if that's an oversight, if that's going to get fixed or something, but uh, for now, <laughs> we'll use it. Uh, but yeah, so let's go do a little bit more of the quest, and I also feel like I want to place a viaduct all the way to the surface, so maybe we'll attempt this first. So I do have a bunch of viaducts here, we do have our crescent hammer, uh, we do have tools and weapons, and I suppose uh, that's all full. Why do I have like 44 ender pearls in here? I'm not sure why I put them in there, that's kind of weird. Um, let's just take this box and put away something so I don't, you know, lose them. Might be better so that they don't break. Okay, it should be fine. Hopefully there's nothing too dangerous down here. 
We shall see. Oh, rocket squids. But we can just kill them easily. I don't have arrows. <laughs> I'm so prepared. There they are. Hi. He's right there. Let's actually kill some of these. And... Oh, no, I can't... See, I can't turn off my turn on my magnet when I fight these. Because it actually attracts my arrows towards me. Which is a little bit silly. I know there's a better arrow later, I think, so... It's not going to be a problem then, but, you know... While fighting, it's not the greatest. Oh my god, look at these little babies! <laughs> That's so cute! Little baby rocket squids. Okay, I don't know where the other stuff fell onto. Uh, maybe I got it all. We did get four of these. Yeah, turbo tubes. Nice. It's not like I have here. Yeah, so we're just gonna go on top of the base. Yeah, see, that's gonna happen. And, um, hey, don't dodge it. Build a pipe all the way up. Hopefully that works. And he's gone. He didn't die from that. Interesting. Hey. Die already. Thank you. We need more of these turbo tubes anyway. I think that's how you make the booty brew, don't you? Anyway, our base should be, our platform up there should be directly above us. So this should be pretty easy to do. But yeah, I really want to get these things going. And, oh, does anyone know? I'm just going to break this. Is there a cover for these so you can fill these little corners in? Because that would be pretty sweet if, if that was an option. But yeah, let's see. Hope, we should have enough pipes for this. And I can just make more. They're actually not that expensive. Bunch of bronze and so on. And we have a ton of copper and tin. So, yeah. Hey, we made it. That didn't even take that long. And yes, I know. We have our book. You know, we can just um, use the ender book to teleport. But this isn't about efficiency. This is about traveling in style. You know? It looks cooler. It's more fun. So, uh, let's configure this and say surface. No, all caps. This is very ominous, and I'll make it a dirt icon. And then downstairs, oh, that doesn't even render well. Downstairs, we have to rename this to, and boink. Let's see. <laughs> this is like the longest ride ever. I love it. We can sort of look outside. Oh, it's time to swipe my camera, though. <laughs> yeah, I love this. That still takes forever to go up and down, though. But, you know, I wonder if you get fall damage. No. Haha! <laughs> this is the best. I love it. Yeah, I want to use the whole network of these, you know, eventually. Uh, what should be our base icon? Um, Maybe a turret for now. <laughs> sure, why not? Alright, cool. So we have that going at least. So we can go up and down in a not fast way, but in a stylish way. I like it. We have 20 left. So we can use them somewhere else later. But let's go look at the quest here. Now we have this option here, which is for uh, passive animals, and that would be nice to do. Uh, but like, like I said, I do need more dirt though, because I'm a bit short at the moment. So we need at least a stack to make this. And then this line seems to be for agriculture and also goes down to a key. And speaking of keys, I think we could finish this up real easy as well to get another, another key. So possibly in the next one or two episodes, we might have all the rooms unlocked, which would be pretty, pretty cool. There is a world of produce available at your fingertips. Maintaining a varied and healthy diet can give you buffs such as constant night vision, depth strider, and other helpful status effects. Mass producing farm goods to sell will be the best way to gain guild currency. Now, I was looking on the uh, on the uh, wiki, uh, not wiki, on the Discord, and actually, before I talk about this, uh, instead of making this ice, right, with purified water and four blocks to make one single one, like. Come on. <laughs> we are going to uh, take a bunch of cobblestone and our swapping wand. And we're going to go to one of these penguin islands and just break this. Because you need silk touch to actually pick up packed ice. But if you have this, it's fine. Uh, I need my seamoss. Let's just bring this box here. Excuse me. I need this box. Um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so so I was on the on the on the Discord channel for this pack, and people were actually a little bit discussing what's the best way of making money and how m using crops doesn't actually seem like a really good way. Oh come on, map please, a good way of making money uh, solely because you need, I believe, 125 crops to make these like 15 crates to make one double compressed crate to get 10 gil, right? Um, which doesn't sound like much because I think other people have set up mob farms that drop uh, loot and money bags and so on. But I'm actually curious, since we have agriculture in here, it's possible... Where's the penguin thing? Is it more this way? It's possible, there it is, that 
you know, with having 10, 10, 10 crops, giving you a lot of little, like, a lot of um, material, a lot of items, maybe it does become faster, you know? And I think we can do 7x7 seven seven maybe and just go... Uh, oh, wait. Shift, right-click, you select a block. Uh, it doesn't... Is there, like, a mode where it does... Like a cube or something? No, right? As a Okay. It's fine. We just do some of them. Yeah, so I don't know if that is... You know, maybe maybe it will be faster to have... Um, or maybe it will make a lot of money once you have a ton of these crops going. I'm not sure. Something we'll have to check out. But I'm definitely wanna... I definitely wanna look into it. And also, you know, just... Um, you know, just try it. See what it does. Not enough experience. Okay, we're out of experience again. We really need a mob farm. <laughs> I have the items to make it too, but I just... I'm always so lazy when it comes to mob farms. Alright, time to head home. And as you can see, well, if the game wouldn't stutter, uh, the battery is running kind of low, so I think I should make a new battery soon. At least have some ooh, spare ones on us anyway, right? So we don't run out by accident while we're out there. But there we go, we have a bunch, oh, excuse me, ladder. A bunch of um, packed ice. It's not, you know, super much, but I mean, that would take us forever to make. If we wanted to craft it, we get our night vision potion. The Agri Agricraft mod is the only means of access to many of the produce items you would need to strengthen your economy later in the pack. Agricraft tools and irrigation systems re require a particular infused wood that is only available in the place called Gla Glacidus. Glacidus. Oh. Click the icon on the right to view the capsule recipe. Ugh, it's a portal. 5x5x5 five by five by five structure. There's a ton of packed ice and a block of gold and four buckets of purified water. Interesting. Ooh, that's... Uh -huh, that could be fun. I don't know anything about that mod. That That's not how you make a glowstone, is it? It's four. <laughs> it's not that expensive. Huh. Wait, that's not glowstone. I need gold block. Derp. That sounds pretty cool. Um, Maybe... I guess we'll check that out today. Kind of worried about it, but I mean, if we if we try to be careful, should be good, should be fine. So let's get our bucket. Do I even have my purified water thing still set up? I do not. Uh, I need to fix that. Although I can go over here real quick and just grab water from there and melt it up. Oh, while well, this is melting, so a couple of people actually said that you should get like a mob, like a magma slime or anything else that can jump on that grinder for you. Unfortunately, the mod is designed in a way where it actually checks if a player is doing it and not a, you know, random mob or something. So, yeah, unfortunately, you can't do that. Um, I tried this with penguins before in a creative world to see if we could have penguin-powered stuff, but nah, can't do it, unfortunately. So, but good call, good call. It was definitely worth checking, you know. All right, there is a diamond one. And yes, I'm upgrading to diamond tools most of the time now because we can. Um, actually, that might be still enough. We do, just don't have the purified water in there yet. Yeah, it's still enough. There it is. A glacius, glacius capsule. We got one of those items from Glacius or whatever before. Uh, but I don't, I don't know what this 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 dungeon is. So well, this should be interesting. We get money, and it says that you get special soil. What was it? Oh, infused wood. Okay. Glacius visited. Once you have deployed to Glacius, Glacidus, how do you say that? Glacidus portal, <laughs> Glacidus, I'm going to say Glacidus, uh, portal frame, break the glowstone block on the frame to activate it. Make sure you have your hearthstone, armor, food, and temperature regulating items before you venture through. Okay. Okay, this is not what I expected to do today, but I'm, I'm down for it. I'll explore it. That sounds fun. Um, let's put away the CMOS. I don't think we'll need it here. Now, it doesn't say what kind of temperature, so that makes me a bit worried. So I'll just take, uh, let's take our healing goo packs, our shield. Um, the food is fine. I'll probably bring, no, this should be fine. I was going to say I might bring my, uh, golden carrots, but I think that's okay. And these are currently full. The hearthstone would be nice if we can teleport out again. We do have this crazy gourmet burger. Maybe I'll bring that just in case. And I don't think we need a cr well, maybe we need a crescent hammer. There's our torches that we'll use. Swapping wand is always good to have. And I think I'll bring this box here. Uh, so let's put this in the that one. And we also have, I think it's in the satchel. 
Oh, there's some viaducts in here too. Hm. And a bunch of torches. Uh, where are my extra crates? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I'll bring this in here. I, and someone also mentioned we can upgrade this again. We should probably do that soon. But yeah, let's grab some more arrows. Oh, it's gonna be something. And then I think, let me see, drink. We have one cool and four super hot, so maybe we'll bring one of each. If it gets crazier than that, we can always, we should take stuff out of here. Uh, we can always come back and get more things. I feel like I should probably look up a little bit about the dungeon, but you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just go in there blind. I'll put the book in here because it won't work across dimensions. Let's just go in blind and check it out. The pickaxe needs a bit of repairing as well. We have our uh, magnet if we need to, although if there's creepers, we don't want to use that. And I'm just going to repair this a little bit, I guess. Should make... There is like a drill and stuff we can... Oh, we can't repair this even. There's a drill and such we can make, so... That be an option too. We serve the hammer as well, so maybe we'll we'll be okay. Famous last words, I guess. Okay, uh, let's put away this suit. Oh, and actually, apparently we can. You know that lining we made. Apparently, that can be applied up to three times, right? Single install. You only need one. Oh, is that a different one? No, that's Aussie chest plate. That's something else. That's something else. Um. Yeah, these warmers, right? So, plus one, plus two, plus three. Yeah, you can make this multiple times. So we can actually cool this further down for the nether and such. But I'll bring my steel armor for that place. I don't know, again, how hot or cold it will be. If it gets super hot or cold, we can buy uh, some extra ones, I guess, if I bring these. And let's leave them in the inventory. And also, always good to bring just a couple of blocks, right? Especially if you have the swapping one. Okay, I think I'm good. I don't know. I mean, it's a 5x5x5 five by five by five portal, so... Left-click rotate, sneak, left-click mirror. Okay, I never use these. Uh, should we put this in a special room? That's the question. I think the capsules lets you pick this up again, don't they? Maybe I'll try it over here. It's a 5x5, five five, right? Can I just do this? Oh, okay, you get a preview. Oh, okay. That's how you play it, though. <laughs> Maybe that's a one-time use only. I see, I see. That's why you need that 25 packed eyes. Interesting. Okay, well, see what happens. Ta-da! Very ominous. Yeah, this mod, I... It looks interesting. That's also where this weird static is coming from. There's some interesting looking stuff. Oh, we need to... Make sure he doesn't walk into this. <laughs> or else he might end up there and then we can't get him out. And also, is this bright enough? It seems to be bright enough. They can't spawn up there. Okay. Well, let me take a cool screenshot. Well, I'll take it later. Let's go in. Omnius. So far, all I see is void. I'm sure that's fine. Come on, game. You can do it. Ooh. Oh god, there's gas? What's happening? I'm floating. I don't know if that stuff is good. Oh, it's probably super cold in here, huh? We made it out of packed ice. Frozen Antarctic stone. Yeah, okay. Well, heating up is a little bit easier than cooling down. I feel like I don't want to touch that. Ooh, gravity is really funky here. And anyway, with my shield, you can look through the water. It's kind of weird. Um, okay, well, good thing I brought some blocks so we can actually get over there. Oh, it's gonna be interesting with the shield. I might have to grab some of this fluid just to see what we can use it for. Yeah, there's a bunch of gas in here, which is... Well, I don't know if they shoot cold ice bolts. I might shoot cold ice bolts or something, you know? Instead of the fireballs they usually use. Uh, can we reach from here? Nah, not quite. Not quite, unless I can't pick it up. So this is a stalk. I can get this. I wonder if these are the trees that will grow that infused wood. Frozen and Arctic stone. Seems like it's just stone, but you can also make weapons out of it. Okay. And then you can smell it into thought stone. Which doesn't seem to have too much use yet. 
where are these gas? I hear. Oh, hi. That's a basalt or whatever. Something like that, I think. Yeah, it's getting. It's freezing in here. Okay, good thing I brought the hot ones, I guess. I have to hold a bit longer. Maybe that will help a bit. Oh, still going down. Okay, so this is one where we need hotness. Let's see. Uh, you know what I should also do? I think if I hold torches, that might help a bit. Possibly, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna grab some of these things. I don't see any partic any special trees. Oh yeah, yeah, do that. Thank you. I needed this. It's too cold in here. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Let's just get set on fire for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe that helps. There we go. <laughs> it's heating up. <laughs> okay, there's a special moth. I think we have a bow. What's that? Bounty hunter. Interesting achievement sound. Ooh, that's way too high. What is that? Resi residium. I can't use it. Oh, there's no use for it. There's weird pillar going up. Bits and bobs. Hmm. Very strange place. Oh, it's not a ghast. It's kind of odd that there's gas in here, right? I would have expected some sort of, of cold mob, like I said, but... I'll take it. Seems like I'm heating up enough. With the heating pack, currently. So we should be... We might be fine. I'm not sure. Did you drop more of these things? He did. There's a bliss. Those might cool us down. Oh, he's shooting already. <laughs> what a silly guy. Did you drop a ghast here for us? No. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's like certain ores. We are at Y level 90, so there must be... There might be quite a bit of stuff below us. I don't see anything else special other than these sapling looking things. There are islands which might be worth getting up to. Let's go with our hammer so we can quickly quickly mine stuff here. Let's get a bunch of these blocks. And so we can pillar up or something. I might check underground too. See if there's anything cool down there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But hey, discovering new um, dimensions is always fun. At least I enjoy it. Okay, let's go right here and like, we with our low gravity, we can place two blocks at a time. Now we're getting cold again. Whoa. Do you jump higher at a higher height? Whoa, you sure do. Interesting. So the higher you go, the less gravity there is. Oh, that, oh that's one of that stuff. That void stuff is up here. Okay. Nice try, buddy. Um, I almost was about to jump down here. For some reason, I thought I have, like, no hole damage or something. Interesting. What was... What is that? What is that noise? Oh, is that a person down there? Whee! Okay, maybe we can't, we don't get fall damage. Guys, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Well, maybe not while there's so many. Oh. Your fireball saved you, did it? Yeah, it did. Lucky you. Okay, well, I'm not seeing too much else, so maybe it's worth going down. Unless there's like a special biome, there's more of this liquid stuff. You can actually see these void things on the top of here. Possibly that there's any dungeons. I might run around for a little bit and just see if I can find anything different, you know? So, I'll be right back. Alright, so I just ducked down because I didn't really see anything upstairs. I hear spooky noises down here and there looks to be some kind of different block. Oh, that must be the tree. Right? Actually, what we should do is check the book real quick. See what it wants us to do here, right? Maybe there's like something special. So, okay, we need dirt. Which is, is, I don't think it's the one we just picked up. And then the underground wood and turrets. They eat a diet rich in glacier soil, which makes their nutrient rich 
waste akin to brown gold. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. You may want to collect more turrets depending on the size of the farm. Wait, did we get actually... Oh, hi. Did we actually get turrets from these? Uh, not those guys. So maybe there's other guys down there. Are you coming back? I can't kill you like this. Not working. This looks really pretty, actually. Those textures down there look nice. Yeah, those look... Oh, there's like a whole freaking underground. Ooh. Ooh. Oops. Got him. Yeah, let's put up the shield again. It looks like there's no light difference in this place. Like, everything is just bright. Or not bright, I guess. Ah, oh, these glass up there. Okay. Get some flowers. What? What's the use for these guys? Nothing. Not even die. Okay. Well... I guess I'll leave you here. If I need them, I'll come back and get you. Uh, but we have the wood here. I did not... Did I bring my axe? Uh, I did not. Because I thought I would need it. That was silly, though. Obviously, it told us to get some wood. <laughs> that was dumb. You know what? Actually, what might be better? Yeah, let's grab some of this. Although, do we still have the crafting grid? We do still have the crafting grid. And then we can make we can make a pick out of this or an axe out of this stuff, right? No? Oh, you have to maybe heat this up first or something. Or maybe need some special sticks, but let's do that and then that should do it. At least. Ooh. There's some meat. Only downside with a shield and a bow. You can't really block while drawing a bow. Okay, so there's that what we need, and then this is the dirt we need, so I'm just gonna go collect some, and if I find anything new interesting, I'll let you guys know, because this seems really... Yeah, I like these textures a lot, actually. That's a... I'm not so sure about the grass itself, but the dirt looks really nice. Oh, there's also some sort of glowstone up there. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. There's, like, grapevines here, too. You can right-click and get them. I'm guessing you need shears to pick them up, and then... Maybe you can grow them too. Hardy snack. Okay. So I picked up enough dirt. Um, and I did have a peek down there. There's something down there I don't like to see. But I want to quickly uh, grab some of this as well if you can. Let's just take the dirt we just got. We only needed two stacks. Oh, someone's shooting again. So even though it's like bright in here. Uh, if you press F7 you can still see they spawn and torches still disable that. So, you know, you could still do that. But, yeah. It just looks like it's really bright in here. All right, all right. So what's um what's the use for this one? So it makes a crystal block, and there's actually a recipe to make cryothium dust later. Interesting. And then what's the crystal block used for? Nothing currently. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So this is something we probably want in the future. But uh, let me see if there's a good way down. And also, oh, there it is. This is what I saw. Creepy crawling, freaky spiders. <laughs> Not a fan. Gotta say, not a fan. Um, with those little legs and everything. Not my favorite design of spiders. <laughs> I hate spiders. Hey, hey, don't do that. Gotcha. Now, did this little guy drop anything? Maybe more of these, possibly? And then, there's these animals, right? We got some meat from them before. Let me pick up this sapling, too. So, uh, maybe those are the ones that drop a lot of turd. Hi! How are you doing? Do you do anything special? Do you, do you want berries or something? I wonder. Let me see if we can feed them berries. Maybe you can tame them or breed them or something, you know? Since, since this is like the food you get here. Possibly that this works? Meow. They make funny noises. Those guys, I could... Yeah, you can breed them. I could do uh, less with, to be honest. Okay, unfortunately... Oh, here. Make a baby! So I can slaughter you without feeling too bad. Good job. Now die. You must die. There we go. You drop raw beef. Weird. Not what I expected. So you're just basically a cow. And you also drop some sort of leather. Which is just leather. But it makes special special type of armor, I guess. So that's kind of cool. Okay, but let's go down here while these stupid guys are shooting at me. There is... There's some sort of like pig looking thing down there as well. And is that the same guy over there? Yeah, it seems to be the same guy. But I just want to know if there's anything different down here. I don't know if 
Don't judge the book by its cover. Find signs of planned lives. You know, that's that's a good that's a fair assessment because I did say it looks kinda empty up there, right? <laughs> and down here it's like beautiful. It's like actually really pretty. Are you guys are you guys cool? Oh you're the guy that dropped like I found a piece of meat from you earlier. Okay, he does attack back. Yeah, they drop like pork. Pork meat. I don't see any like poop related items yet though. Oh, there's also ores. I could do less with these guys. They're a little bit annoying. But I guess you do need some sort of shred down here. What's attacking you? Oh, was someone shooting me and you like took the bullet for me? I think so. <laughs> Thanks, pig. Even though I just slaughtered your friend. Oh yeah, look, there's like normal gravity now. So the lower you go, the less weird gravity there is. Okay, let's see what this stuff is. Great, it makes the noise. Does it? Do you mean the achievement? Oikaita. So that just makes also tools, and that's it. And then there's something up here. What are you? You look like snow ore. Oh, the ah, these are these little things we got earlier. Op opisium or whatever to make the hearthstone. Okay, so seems to be the only use for it. So I don't know if there's any reason for us to collect more. And then there's even more. There's more stuff down here. Different type of biome, even. So this one is the Thought Stone. And that's the one we can make, right? By smelting the frozen one. Okay. That looks really nice the way it looks like down here. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Still might try to dig even deeper to see if there's some other sort of cave. Man, these ghasts. Driving me crazy! Also, you're gonna, like, set everything on fire in here. Are these the same trees? Underground wood? So the same trees, right? So they can be two by two. Nice, they're like spruce trees then. Well, at least it's a nice way to farm gas if you have to, I guess. I did... Oh no, I did not capture one. I think I wanted to capture one. Did I capture one? Ah, I didn't bring a net though. Or lasso. We should do that. We should come back and grab some of these. Same with like the basalt. Oof. That just froze my game. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, same with the basalts and so on, right? We should grab these with the lasso so we can farm them in a farm. Oh no! <laughs> the hang on the ceiling? Oh, that just made it five times worse. There's something about these pigs. They're like smelly or something. All of them are kind of smelly. What if I just right click you? Do I get pooped then? No. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that poop thing. Oh god, these spiders are horrible. Okay, let me go down here. Just see if there's anything else of interest. Uh, this, is that a different ore? Is that the same one? It's the same one. We are still at like 34, so there's a little bit to go and there might be something at like diamond level, you know? So, maybe I'll just dig down and see if I can find something. Aha! It's indeed another cave down here. So tempted to just jump down. I don't know if that's gonna hurt real bad. Guess we'll find out! Oh god. The core. Okay. Stop! Return to send. I already got that achievement. That achievement. Okay, there's something here. Pull something. It drops cookies. Are you kidding me? It's an ore that drops cookies. Okay. <laughs> so not the most serious mod, I guess. A little bit of a silly randomness to it, but you know, sometimes you gotta do that. And tons of lava too, so if you wanted lava. You can get that stuff here. Anything else of interest, though? Anything special? Lots of lots of lava. Kind of interesting, right? So, like, you start out at the top being super cold. And then the further you make it down, the hotter it gets. So, it's kind of neat. I like that. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But I don't see anything else. Maybe there is more. I think I'm I'm ready to head back. Um, we got what we needed, I think. So, yeah. Maybe grab another cookie. All right, so we are back in the base, and interesting fact about the this little tree thing, the sapling, you can't twerk it. And also, listen to this. Quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it makes like noises, which is kind of interesting. Okay, can I bone meal you? 
Ooh, I might not. That's uh, it's not enough space here. It doesn't say anything about, you know, like requiring a certain height or something. Okay, so I think I'll farm these a little bit. Uh, we could probably also set up a bonsai tree or hopper for that or whatever. Okay, but let's take a look at the quest then real quick that we finished off here. So we have this one at least to visit it. We get 20 monies and then we have the soil one which gives us underground sticks. The last thing for now that you will want to grab from glaciers is the Lumi Lumicia soil which has excellent fertility and is a requirement for breeding and mutating agricraft crops. Ah, you may want to collect more dirt depending on the size of your farm you're planning. Okay, I got like three stacks I believe so you know. And then it's giving us the stick. Are they required for crop sticks? Ooh, there's also a different ore here. That's probably like diamond, maybe? Seems to be like diamond level. I didn't see that one yet. Okay. There's definitely something else down there still. Um, if you look up here, yeah, crop sticks. So if you look at crop sticks, looks like those are the only ones we can make. Yeah, so you have to make them out of the glaciers. Uh, what which is cool good to know, but yeah I'm gonna have to grow some of these trees so we can do this and the next time we can actually get started properly with All this agriculture stuff didn't expect to have to go to dungeon for that, but I'm glad we did So I think for now we're gonna have to end the episode here in my fancy steel armor stick of the helmet at least <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye